Let's go to the US now. And as you know, uh, that doddering, cantankerous president and the worsening border crisis is a shambles over there, for starters. Our US commentator, Kristen Tate, agrees the border situation is now worse than ever. It is. Part of the reason for that is because the uh, summer is finally cooling down a little bit, so you always see a little surge when summer ends, but we've never seen a surge like this. This is because the smugglers, the human smugglers, and, and pretty much everybody in Central America and Mexico realize that they've got to get in now because this is the U.S. president who is welcoming, welcoming them in and telling them, come on in, we don't have a border. Only 20 3% of Americans approve of the way Biden is handling the border. That's not just Republicans. That's all Americans. This is a disaster. And it's one of those things that's kind of abstract or has been abstract to a lot of coastal Americans who don't really deal with this problem firsthand. But as these sheer numbers, 10,000 a day in some cases, of people are coming across the border, they are going north. They are moving to these cities like New York, Boston, LA, and people who live in these places that typically haven't been impacted as much by illegal immigration are suddenly waking up and saying, hey, this is a topic we need to care about. This is a disaster. This needs to stop now. And this is where the Republican governor of Texas has been genius, uh, Greg Abbott, in making sure that he encouraged people and helped people move to those other cities to demonstrate that this is not just a Texas problem. This is not just a problem for states on the southern border. It's a problem for the whole nation. And he's been busy shooting at, uh, shunting it all home to the president. He is Greg Abbott. We have a president who is an obstructionist to Texas, who's trying to do our best to impede the flow of illegal immigrants by us building our own border wall, by us putting up these razor wire barriers and not allowing people to pass, by deploying the National Guard to make sure that we repel migrants who are trying to get into the country. And what do we have? We have Joe Biden interfering with my efforts to secure the actual border. I've never seen a president flout the laws of the United States as much as Joe Biden. Christian, this is extraordinary. It should be uncontroversial that a country can secure its border. That doesn't mean you keep everyone out. It means you only allow people in who are legal, who you allow in. But uh, Abbott there, Greg Abbott, being actually thwarted from his attempt to actually secure the border along, Texas, uh, along the south of Texas. No wonder Donald Trump's doing well, because presumably the first thing he would do if he became president again would be back to get back to building that wall. Yes, and you know, it's not controversial that we should secure the border. The vast majority of Americans believe that, including Democrats. It's only these elite political Democrats who live in the Beltway who want a totally open border because we all know that eventually these people, when they come in, they all end up staying and eventually they'll have children who will become U.S. citizens who can vote. 